Well, on behalf of the bridal party, I'd like to extend our gratitude to you all for attending today's joyous celebration. Today, I reflect on balance and harmony. For it is within the balance of these two individuals, we are able to hear the harmony of love these souls sing together. Without further ado, here's the balance, harmony, and the Rollins. people you've met and places you've been throughout your life, you ended up here with me. I'm not sure how I pulled this off, but you're the best thing that's ever happened to me. There's so many things I love about you. Your intelligence, your humor, your loyalty, your quirkiness, your thoughtfulness, your passion, just to name a few. When I'm with you, I'm the best version of myself. Without a doubt, I'm the luckiest man to be standing up here with you today. Andrew, you are an incredible, kind, supportive, and fun person. From the beginning, our relationship always felt special, and I wouldn't trade the past six, almost seven years together for the world. You're the kindest person I know, and you always know how to make sure I don't take life too seriously. You light up every room you walk into and know how to brighten even the darkest of days. I'm so lucky to have you as my life partner. Through the years, we have faced many obstacles, some harder than others, which have helped us build the unrelenting foundation between us. Thank you for joining us to celebrate the blessed union of two people we love very much, Sarah Fisher and Andrew Rowland. I had the privilege of friendship with both of your families for a very long time. There's no surprise to me how awesome that you both turned out, and I'm really proud of both of you. Sarah, it's been a joy to watch you grow up into the woman that you are. We always had more fun when you were around the barn. Sarah the Speed Demon, the queen of the leave out. The leave out is the gutsiest move in show jumping. Sarah just had it down pat. Sarah, we love your zest for life, your strong spirit, and your pursuit of the best. Sarah's been the kind of sister that I'm sure everyone wishes they had. She's the best role model and cheerleader and the first person I think to call when anything comes up. She's the most hardworking and determined person and also always ready for a good time, as long as it's before 9 p.m. But looks like tonight's an exception, so Andrew must be pretty special. Over the past years, I've gotten to see how happy Sarah is when you guys are together, and I couldn't be more excited for you guys with this new chapter. Andrew, you're a giver with a huge heart, an infectious smile, and an energy that can brighten those around you. And I'm certain that Andrew's spirit is one that will carry you through the tough and dark days and the fun and sunny days of the rest of your life. So we can't dance very easily, Mom, but I have something to say to you. When I was a kid, I assumed superheroes were people who wore capes scaled buildings, or shot webs out of their hands. But as I grew up, I realized that the true superhero in my life was you. To me, you're not only my mom, but you're the strongest woman I know. You took on the role of two parents and raised us kids with unconditional love and support. I'm so thankful that I was raised by such a strong woman like you. Mom, you're my motivation, my inspiration to be the best I can be every day. I don't know where I would be without you. I love you to the moon and back. I promise to encourage and support all of your dreams. 
to be your partner in all of life's adventures, and to stand by you in times of struggle. I promise to continue to challenge you and push you out of your comfort zone. I promise to be a trustworthy partner, to trust you, and to always hold you in the highest regard. I promise to always remind you of how beautiful and amazing you truly are. I promise to put our relationship first, above all else, because without you, I have nothing. I promise to give more than I take and not keep score. I promise to choose you every day, to love you in word and in deed, and to do the hard work of making now into always. I promise to continually work on myself and to be the best husband you want and deserve. Our journey together has only just begun, and I can't wait for what the future holds for us. Sarah, you're the person that I chose six years ago. You're the person I choose today, and I will continue choosing forever. You're so beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> you guys, the love you have for each other burns hot now but the love that will carry you through to the end is forgiving each other no matter what. It's talking about everything all the time. It's letting each other fly. And it's catching each other when you fall. You can make this life absolutely whatever you want. So do it. Now by the power vested in me by God, the Holy Church in the state of Indiana, I now pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the bride.